Hi and welcome to GridView Guy videos. My name is Mohamed Azam and in this particular video I will introduce you to the LINK framework. LINK stands for Language Integrated Query and it allows you to perform different actions, per perform an easy iteration on your uh, collections. So let's start by using a simple query, by creating a very simple query and I will say a string array names and uh, this is a very simple uh, array of names okay so let's uh, create some uh, names I don't know the spelling of this but um, oops okay so let's say that this is a, a very simple array a string array uh, containing uh, four names okay and I want to basically print out all the names in this particular array okay now if you want to simply print out the names you will of course use a for each loop to print it out and there's no problem but let's see a link approach how you can use that so I will say for uh, let's say query equal to okay um, from n in names and I will say select n okay and now this means that we are selecting n n is a single entity which is name in names names is an array select n means select a single item there is no where condition in this particular query which which means that there is no restriction there is no filter so it will select all the names and now if I want to print out all the names I will say in query and I will simply print out the name so if I run this I will print out the name as you can see on the screen now some of you might think okay this is just too much work I can simply iterate it and yes you are right but let's see some different approaches where link can be used and link will be very much uh, beneficial in, in those scenarios so let's say I want to select only the names that are four that have the length four let's say Azam and John okay these are the names which have the length four using the same query I'll say from n in names where n dot length is equal to four and now I'll say select n which is already there so now I will only have two entries in this particular query this is the i enumerable and when I run this it will print out Azam and John as you can see but what about some other stuff maybe I want to select a name okay maybe I just want to select a single name okay so you can do that also so let's say where n I'm selecting a name who starts with a letter J so I'm only selecting and I need to only select one I don't need I enumerable okay so I'll just put that in a bracket take one and single so this will give me a single element out of the names array and this will actually return you an item and I can actually print out the item so if I run this John will be printed on the screen as you can see okay so link will allow you to do different things link will allow you to um, basically iterate in the array in an I enumerable and you can perform different action as you have seen in this particular example one another thing that link uh, fas is fascinating is is that you can create the types at runtime okay using link let me give you some example let's say var um, I will say persons okay persons equal to from n in names okay and let's say I'm selecting all of them right select uh, new say first name equal to n okay let me do this and con oops for each and now I can use a simple loop 
in persons and console dot right line person dot first name so what I have actually done over here is I have created a new anonymous type and assigned the name to that particular anonymous type okay and then I have written the name on the screen so if I run this it will simply display all the names but now we have an anonymous type which which is a uh, which is which contain one property which is first name and assigned I assigned it to the n which is the uh, which is a name coming from the list of names and then simply I'm printing it out on the screen now this shows the power of uh, link with anonymous types and you might be wondering that hey why do I need to use anonymous types you can use anonymous type if you are reading from some of the other source let's say you are reading from a RSS uh, some sort of a RSS or some sort of a URL then it will be very beneficial that you don't just create a type you don't define a type but you just create the type of runtime because it's just for the display purposes so in this particular video, we learned how we can get started with Link. We, we saw some of the very basic operations which can be achieved using uh, the Link framework. And in the later videos, I will uh, go into a little bit more depth of uh, Link. Thank you very much, and uh, I hope you like this video.